welcome to the session. In this session, we'll learn about determining solutions of linear equations by Kramer's rule. First of all, let us discuss it for the system of two linear equations. in two variables. Now let us consider two linear equations in two variables x and y that is a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equal to c2. Now solving the given equations by the method of cross multiplication we are getting the values of x and y. So let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. So solving 1 and 2, we get x is equal to b2c1 minus b1c2 whole upon a1b2 minus a2b1 and y is equal to a1c2 minus a2c1 all upon a1b2 minus a2b1. Where a1b2 minus a2b1 is not equal to 0. Now let us write this solution in determinant form we get x is equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as c1 b1 and the elements in the second row as c2 b2 over the determinant with the elements in the first row as a1 b1 and the elements in the second row as a2 b2 and y is equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as a1c1 and the elements in the second row as a2c2 over the determinant with the elements in the first row as a1b1 and elements in the second row as a2b2. This implies x is equal to the determinant dx over determinant d and y is equal to the determinant dy over determinant d where d is not equal to 0. Or in short you can write x is equal to the determinant with elements c, b over the determinant with elements a, b and y is equal to the determinant with elements A, C over the determinant with elements A, B where the determinant with element A, B is not equal to 0. Now here you can see that the denominant D in the denominator is really the determinant of the coefficients and in the determinant Dx the coefficients of x, that is a1 and a2, are replaced by the constant terms c1 and c2. And in the determinant dy, the coefficients of y, that are b1, b2, are replaced by the constant terms c1 and c2. So this is the Kramer's rule for solving the system of two linear equations with two variables. Now let us discuss the Kramer's rule for the system of three linear equations. Now consider three linear equations that is a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equal to d1 then a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to d2 then a3x plus b3y plus 
C3Z is equal to D3, where D1, D2 and D3 are the constants and they are placed on the right hand side of these equations. Then the determinant with the elements in the first row as D1, B1, C1, elements in the second row as D2, B2, C2, and elements in the third row as D3, B3, C3 will be equal to. Now from the given equations, D1 is equal to, that is we will write the determinant as, and here D1 will be equal to A1x plus B1y plus C1z. Then B1 and C1, that is these are the elements in the first row of the determinant. And in the second row, we will get the elements as, now here D2 is equal to A2x plus B2y plus C2z. And here it is B2 and then C2. And now the elements in the third row will be, now D3 will be equal to A3x plus B3y plus C3z, then B3, then C3. Now, by the property of determinant, this will be equal to the determinant, with the elements in the first row as A1x, B1, C1, then elements in the second row as A2x, B2, C2, elements in the third row as A3x, B3, C3 plus the determinant with the elements in the first row as B1y, B1, C1, elements in the second row as B2y, B2, C2, and elements in the third row as B3y, B3, C3 plus the determinant with the elements in first row as C1z, B1, C1, elements in the second row as C2z, B2, C2, and elements in the third row as C3z, B3, C3. Further, this is equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as A1x, B1, C1, elements in the second row as A2x, B2, C2, and elements in the third row as A3x, B3, C3, plus, now here, this determinant will become y into the determinant with the elements in the first row as B1, B1, C1, Elements in second row as B2, B2, C2. And elements in the third row as B3, B3, C3. Plus, this determinant will be Z into the determinant with the elements in the first row as C1, B1, C1. Elements in the second row as C2, B2, C2. And elements in the third row as C3, B3, C3. Now again by using the property of determinants, these two determinants will be vanished. As in this determinant, these two columns are same and in this determinant, these two columns are same. So they will be equal to 0 and we will get the result as x into the determinant with the elements in first row as A1, B1, C1, elements in second row as A2, B2, C2, and elements in the third row as A3, B3, C3. Therefore, x is equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as D1, B1, C1, elements in the second row as D2, B2, C2, and elements in the third row as D3, B3, C3 over the determinant with the elements in the first row as A1, B1, C1, elements in the second row as A2, B2, C2, and elements in the third row as A3, 
v3, c3. Or, in short, we can write x is equal to the determinant with elements d1, b2, c3 over the determinant with elements a1, b2, c3. Where the determinant with elements d1, b2, c3 is the determinant obtained from the determinant with elements a1, b2, c3 of the coefficients by replacing a1, a2, a3 by d1, d2, d3 respectively. And where the determinant with elements a1, b2, c3 is not equal to 0. Similarly, y is equal to the determinant with elements a1, d2, c3 over the determinant with elements a1, b2, c3 and z is equal to the determinant with elements a1, b2, d3 over the determinant with elements a1, b2, c3. And all these are equations are referred as Grammar's rule and these can be written as x is equal to the determinant dx over determinant t then y is equal to the determinant dy over determinant d and z is equal to the determinant dz over determinant d where d is not equal to 0. Here you can see that the denominator d in all the three x and y and z is the determinant of the coefficients of x, y and z in the given equations. And the determinant dx is obtained from the determinant d by replacing the x coefficients a1, a2 and a3 by the constant terms d1, d2 and d3. Similarly, the determinant dy is obtained on replacing the y coefficients by the constant terms and the determinant dz is obtained by replacing the z coefficients by the constant terms. Now the Kramer's rule can be used in exactly the same way to solve the system of n equations in n unknowns. Now the Kramer's rule is not applicable in case the determinant d is equal to 0. If d is not equal to 0, that is the determinant d is not equal to 0, then the given equations have a unique solution. And we get x is equal to the determinant dx over determinant d, then y is equal to the determinant dy over determinant d, and z is equal to the determinant dz over determinant d. And if d is equal to 0, then the given system does not have a unique solution, that is, if the determinant d is equal to 0, then there will be two cases First is, when the determinant d is equal to 0 and the determinant dx, dy and dz is equal to 0, then the given system may be consistent with infinitely many solutions.
solutions are inconsistent having no solution and if the determinant d is equal to 0 that is in the second case and at least one of the determinant dx dy dz is not 0 then the given system of equations is inconsistent and if d1 is equal to d2 is equal to d3 is equal to 0 that is the constant terms is equal to 0 in this system of three linear equations that is these three constant terms then the system of equations is said to be homogeneous system otherwise non-homogeneous system of equations. Now let us discuss one example. Here let the system of two linear equations be 2x plus 3y is equal to 6 and minus x plus 4y is equal to 12. Then we have to solve these two equations for x and y. First of all, you must note that the constant terms should be on the right hand side of the equations. Now, the determinant d is equal to, now here, consider the coefficients of x in the two equations as a1, a2, and the coefficients of y in the two equations as b1, b2, and the constant terms as d1, d2. Now the determinant d will be equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as a1, b1, that is 2, 3, and elements in the second row as a2, b2, that is minus 1, 4, which is equal to 8 plus 3 which is equal to 11. So d is equal to 11 which is not equal to 0. Therefore, solution of the given equations exists. Now the determinant dx can be obtained by replacing the x coefficients in the determinant d by the constant terms and the constant terms here are 6 and 12. So it will be equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as 6, 3 and elements in the second row as 12, 4. That is, we have replaced the coefficients of x by the constant terms d1 and d2. So this is equal to 24 minus 36 which is equal to minus 12. And now we will find dy which is equal to now in the determinant d we will replace the coefficients of y by the constant terms d1 and d2 to obtain the determinant dy. So this is equal to the determinant with elements in first row as 2, 6 and elements in second row as minus 1, 12 which is equal to 24 plus 6 which is equal to 30. Now we know that by the Kramer's rule x is equal to the determinant dx over determinant d and y is equal to the determinant dy over determinant d. Now the determinants d, dx and dy are 11, minus 12 and 30 respectively. So putting these values here this implies x is equal to minus 12 over 11 and y is equal to 30 over 11. 
So we have obtained the values of x and y by using Grammar's rule for the given two linear equations. So in this session, we have learned about determining solutions of linear equations by Grammar's rule. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.